There is this theory that the World Cup being out so it means you're going to get movies that are theoretically directed at uh, female audiences, rather poorly served in this particular case by Killers, which stars... Now, we had a little discussion about this before we came on. Killers, do you pronounce uh, his name? It's Catherine Hagel, Heigel, Hugel, Hagel. It's got to be Heigel. If it's E-I, it's got to be Heigel. OK, Catherine Heigel. I would I say would... Hagel. Why would, but why would you say I'm going to say Hoogel. I'm going to go for Hoogel just to be Scandinavian. And Ashton Kutcher, and you said to me before we came on, how does Ashton Kutcher well, I'm pronounce just, his I was name? just saying, because a lot of people do say Kushta, clearly inappropriately, and it's Kutcher. Yeah, well, it's K-U-T-C-H-E-R. So Kushta, so Kutcher, anyway, Ashton Kutcher. So the story is, Ashton Kutcher is a special... Stick with me on this. Is a special secret super agent assassin for the CIA, right? He's on holiday. Well, he's not on holiday. He's doing some secret assassination super stuff. Catherine Hagel Hugel Hagel is on holiday with her parents. Uh, the father, played by Tom Selleck, um, she falls for him. He decides to stop being a secret super super, you know, uh, killer agent, and in fact, to fall in love with and marry Catherine Hagel Hugel Hagel. And is he is then taken aside by Tom Selleck, who we suspect has been watching Meet the Fockers and has seen the Robert De Niro role and said. I'll have one of them. Here's a clip. I know you're worried about Jen. Why would I worry? I am confident that you'll never hurt her. It's a nice shot. Thank you. I was an Eagle Scout. They really let you shoot stuff in the Boy Scouts? So do the Marines. Ah, Semper Fi. That was yours. I'm so, I, I thought Be you were prepared, still... Spencer. You would have learned that in the Boy Scouts. I was in 4-H. Robert Luketic, Luketic, this is going to be a pronunciation nightmare, is the guy who directed Legally Blonde. He directed this. I really like Legally Blonde. He then went on to direct The Ugly Truth. He also directed Monster in Law, which wasn't very funny, and apparently he was involved in that winner date with Tad Hamilton, which would explain why it was on the television the other day. This has none of the spark of his finest work whatsoever. It is literally like watching a bunch of movies you already know without the good bits in them. It's like watching True Lies without Arnold Schwarzenegger or watching Mr and Mrs Jones without Brangelina or watching The Spy Next Door without Jackie Chan or watching Meet the Fockers but without Robert De Niro but with Tom Selleck. I mean, it is just so completely devoid of laughs. And the sad thing is, it's being put out there as, you know, hey, you know, you don't do football, you do this, right? You know, enjoy the year because I'm sitting there thinking, like, fine, I don't, I don't get the football at all. I quite, I, I've got nothing against Ashton Kutcher, incidentally. I mean, people say that apparently, you know, he's very successful and people like him. You know, he's, he's very, but on the question of how do you pronounce his name, Kushta or Kutcher, he's Ashton Kutcher, and the film is complete chit.